Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna continue the Perth local fish shop aquarium crawl, and today we're gonna to hit up Aquarium Gallery Perth. All right, so Aquarium Gallery Perth was the host of Fragstock Perth, and is probably the main reason why I went across to Perth. In fact, it is the main reason but that doesn't mean it doesn't miss out on getting the uh, video for uh, the local fish shop crawl. And as you're about to see, it's a beautiful store and absolutely worthy of a video. So uh, kick your feet up and check out a store that truly identifies with a gallery. All right, here we are. Just a little way north of Perth city is a suburb called Wangara, and that's where you'll find Aquarium Gallery. Such a beautiful store and I'm um, really looking forward to taking you through the tour here and um, you'll see when you pull up there's no mistaking it. Uh, we've got a bunch of flags out the front here, some big signage, plenty of uh, indicators that this is a uh, really cool store. One point of interest is there's a uh, plumbing store next door and also next to that an acrylic store. So um, it's kind of a one-stop destination if you're uh, whipping something up in your uh, fish room. And uh, yeah, there's good parking around the side there too, but you can also park right at the front. It was just because frag stock was on that uh, sometimes the parks at the front get filled up. You can see they do all sorts of things here from marina, freshwater, custom installation, consultancy, professional and commercial systems, as well as obviously home setups. So we're gonna jump in and do a bit of a tour of the store. You can see uh, this lavish uh, wallpaper and signage. There's absolutely no denying that this is a store that is designed to showcase how good aquariums can be rather than uh, have shelves of dry goods. So you can still pick up all your uh, frozen foods here, but I just wanna check out some of the uh, really neat displays here. This one's a little uh, marine um, uh, paludarium, I think is how they pronounce them, or paludarium. Uh, I'm embarrassing myself, but the funny thing is I'm gonna set one of these up soon and actually a freshwater one. This one's fairly unique in that it's marine. You can see we've got uh, some little uh, morphs and some button scollies. We've got some zoas and a nice uh, macro growing up out of the water. Here's a freshwater one here. And this one here is one that's uh, pretty much convinced me that I need to set one of these up uh, with the Splash Expo Australia coming up soon. This is a part of the hobby I really want to get a, my head around and have a better appreciation for. And uh, seeing these tanks absolutely signifies to me that I need to do one of these. Here's a slightly smaller one set up next to it. Equally as beautiful. The thing that um, is really interesting of this is the scape's built out of house bricks around the back, and then it's got some uh, rocks with some moss on there. Check out even little things here, like the little plants and the uh, hand basin there with some rocks in there. There's uh, some knob videoing this uh, series. See a little fridge here with some waters because it is super hot in Perth. We've also got the Coral Essentials Black Label and even some champagne to celebrate a brand new tank purchase. We got uh, some baiters sitting up here in some jars. Now, I believe that the jars actually sell with the baiters, which is pretty cool. Um, they're just hanging there. All the baiters are absolutely beautiful too. Really nice specimens. Over here, we've got a quick look at this little uh, marine tank down here. We're actually, first, we're just going to have a look at the uh, aquarium gallery signage framed. This little tank down here, I'll have a closer look at that in a minute. It's got some seahorses in there, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got one of these submersible tonsy lights and a little tonsy skimmer in there doing its thing. But um, over here, we've got uh, some fancy goldfish, A-grade fancies, um, and they're pretty cool little units in here. Uh, these are about as exotic as we get in Victoria. I know this is in Perth and you're allowed to have koi over there, but um, thankfully I wasn't teased by koi here. Um, every store I go to, I see all these beautiful koi and they uh, absolutely bring me to tears. But um, And I say that because I can't have them at home. Um, we've got some cool uh, dry tank setups here just to show you what's possible. I think these ones are fire. That's a water box, sorry. We've got some water box tanks and some uh, fire aqua tanks. Uh, this one here is set up to showcase what you can do um, with some CO2 things, so for planted tanks. Uh, we've got some cichlids in here. Beautiful. You can see how clear that um, glass and water is. Absolutely um, as clear as it comes. Over here, we've got a uh, planted tank here. It's sort of just uh, as a bit of a divider from the lounge area. I quite like the little aquarium gallery um, skirting board around the bottom, which uh, just showcases where the tank's from, but also hides some of that ugly part of the substrate, which is pretty cool. Really nice flow in there for a planted tank, which is something you don't always see. And over on the other corner of the lounge area, we've got another freshwater tank. This one's got some cool uh, angels in there. Really nice little scape with the uh, gravel, the larger rocks, the wood, and the plants growing up out of there. It's fairly evident that um, the guys here at the aquarium gallery are very good at uh, doing these scaped tanks. All right, next up, we got this beautiful in-wall marine tank, and I'll just pop my filter on so we can have a closer look at that. Check out the uh, light fittings there, though. And uh, also this, uh, you almost forgot it there because it's, um, there's so many things to look at in this store, but 
this uh, coffee table is actually a fish tank. I know I've seen videos and pictures of things like this done on the internet, but I haven't actually seen one in person. And uh, you can see these little uh, goldfish in here, they know where they go to get fed. Really cool setup. Um, I must admit, I didn't get a chance to ask Graham what uh, the uh, work like was on uh, maintaining that tank, hopefully fairly minimal. But I'll just pop the filter on so we can have a look at this uh, beautiful uh, marine setup here. There's some huge pieces in there, um, starting with uh, that beautiful bubble coral. Whenever I see a big bubble coral, I get excited, and that one just looks crazy. He's got these stingers out there, nice yellow coloration to it. Got a big, uh, what well, looks like a chalice, I think, up in the back right-hand corner there. We've got some big zoa rocks. We've got a beautiful big uh, leather there. A couple of different types of leathers. We've got some pink bird's nests. Other stags, I can see, uh, looks like uh, some pokey or some stylo. We got a great little hammer garden over here, some nice uh, samacoras up the back there, a big clam and a gigantic elegance that uh, the cla uh, clownfish have decided to call home. Really nice tank, um, just seamlessly sits in this lounge area here without uh, disrupting anything. And I'll just pop that filter off and we'll have a look through the rest of the store. I did mention earlier they don't have a huge range of dry goods here. The team do carry quite a lot of dry goods. They just don't have it on display as much. They basically uh, go with a consultation approach with sales. So they walk you through what you need rather than uh, expecting you to walk through the uh, aisles and pick out what you need. So you can talk to the staff, tell them what, uh, what requirements you have, um, and they'll help you pick out the items required. So... That being said, you can see they carry the full Coral Essentials range. We've got um, some Aquil things there, some Eheim pumps and filters. Uh, we've got Continuum and Aquaforest. We've got uh, Reef Revolution, two little fishies, Triton ICP tests. We've got uh, New Life uh, Spectrum Foods there. And we do also have the full range of uh, ADA items for uh, freshwater uh, uh, tanks. And um, they're really nice quality products. You can even see some uh, Dreams of Nature Aquarium uh, Blu-rays there. And we've got some little uh, dry, scaped um, pico tanks here just to get uh, your creative juices flowing on uh, where you could put one of those on your desk. And I tell you what, I know they're dry, but wow, they do look pretty cool. We've got some Hannah checkers up there. We've got uh, some reservoirs for uh, top-offs or dosing units. We've got uh, the Zet Light range of lights there. We've got uh, the Tunzi comb line pack, the reef pack, um, some more of the Zet Lights. So... And check out this beautiful uh, piece of wood with uh, some stones on there. Absolutely instant freshwater skate. Um, we've got a good assortment of dry goods here. They're just kind of not in your face. Um, you see some more of the ADA range here with their iconic square bottles. The little uh, dosing lids on top of them. It's, it's very uh, neatly organized. And like I said, it's kind of in a cabinet or on shelves. Well lit up. Very tidy display. Here's another uh, nice little freshwater um, tank with some moss growing on the wood. I believe that moss is for sale. Really nice uh, setup. But there's more tanks, believe it or not. This is not a huge footprint, this store, but wow, there's a lot of things to look at in here. So many uh, wet displays. If we come over this way, we can check out this uh, little uh, long, narrow, and short uh, marine tank, which has got some cool things in it. They're keeping some uh, sand sifting stars. We've got uh, some trachophilias. We've got a nice little, uh, look like a turbinaria. And this is lit, by, lit up by Zetlite. Lights, which you can see, look really clean on this tank, so that's um, pretty nicely done. This little piece here is pretty cool. It's got a, again, lit up by a Zet light. It's got a Tunzi skimmer at the back. It's got a, uh, what I would call a floating display. It's obviously a uh, rock that's been uh, mounted up with some magnets. Um, we've got some Duncans and Hammers on there. And this tank here, uh, Graham tells me this tank uh, was taken to a uh, expo to showcase aquarium keeping to uh, the general public, and uh, these anemones in here are actually bubble tips and they're normally gigantic but he said they're still sulking from being moved a few days before still looks incredible um but let's uh keep scrolling on through you can see we've got a good range of uh, sea chem uh we've got uh, uh aquaforest salts and things there you can see a brick on that table there this is the tank i wanted to come back to before um because we do have seahorses in here they were a bit shy before but they finally come out for the camera so just a real neat little um seahorse tank there and we come around to see yet more wet displays. This one up here on the on the uh, top, absolutely iconic. I was really tempted to ask Graham how much to take that tank home because I absolutely love the scape in it. It really signifies bonsai under, underwater to me. Um, those rocks look like they are just miniaturized mountains. They're incredible. The, uh, the plants growing on top of the substrate there, everything just absolutely um, stunning. 
come down into something slightly smaller, but still really cool. Um, a very basic little setup there, but it's working well. Really nice little scape in there. Uh, this tank here's got some plants. I believe they're for purchase in there, but that being said, it still looks nice. Here's another one with a cool little scape. We've got uh, some variety of plants in there with some different rocks. And then uh, over here next to it, it looks like we've got uh, some betas in here, which is really cool. This is sort of a community beta tank, which um, I must admit, I think these ones must be females. These are the males that fight. Um, so they're all getting along in there, but it's uh, the fish provide a real nice little uh, splash of color in that tank. You can see uh, being such a heavily uh, aquascaping focused uh, store, they've got a great assortment of substrates and things there. But uh, let's get on over here and check out some more of the fish. Or so if you need to go to the toilet, there is a restroom available. Um, we've got some pictures from some iconic uh, planted scapes here. Some of the ADA specialties. So yeah, you can get some further inspiration for what's possible there. And then uh, we'll come over here and check out the fish. And you can see they're lit up by these really cool, uh, I guess they're house furnishing style lampshades. They've got uh, some PAR 38 bulbs under there. This side being the um, freshwater side, of course. We've got some mollies. Um, <laughs> and other freshwater assorted fish. <laughs> you know me, I'm not the best on them. Looks like there's some guppies. Looks like, um, yeah, I think they're mollies there. But you can see the tanks are these long, um, narrow tanks. In here, we've got some marine fish. You can see uh, we've got a, a tang there. We've got um, some blue tangs. There's a fox face. Um, we come down here, we've got an angel. We've got a um, butterf uh, pyramid butterfly. We've got some anthias, cleaner ass, rabbit fish. Looks like a coal tang. Good assortment in there. Over here, we've got a uh, big Picasso trigger, a huge Moorish idol, absolutely massive. He's even dwarfing the big um, Picasso trigger. Those guys are a bit big for the narrow tanks, so they go down here. Got another large Moorish idol, so we've got some uh, Domino Damsels, I think. Big Rass. We get some Tomato Clowns, I think they are. We're fitting quite a lot of fish in here because these tanks are actually stacked, so you can get um, fish on top of fish. We've got um, some really large chromis in there. Uh, we've got another trigger, black color angel, uh, some anthias and some damsels. Looks like a yellow tang, a really nice looking yellow tang. And then we'll pop over this way. Ah, just a quick little detour into the, um, one thing that I've seen a lot in WA, but they're not so much in the rest of the country, is these uh, in and out overflows, a really small profile um, overflow system, which is overflow and return. You see how little real estate they take up in a tank. So I just wanted to quickly show you those, but uh, let's pop back over to check out uh, the coral displays because um, they've got some nice stuff there. Although one quick little thing here, being a uh, affiliated with um, Aqua Depot, they've got a nice little uh, Tonsi display there showing in different uh, wave makers and mounting them up with some clear glass. This here is a tank where you can obviously purchase the um, plants from, but still looks incredible. And let's jump across here and check out um, some of the corals. I'll just chuck the filter on so we get a better look rather than just seeing blue lights. And uh, this tank was still getting filled up um, because stock was coming in before frag stock, but um, I wanted to get this video before things got too hectic. You can see we've got a huge assortment here ranging from uh, hammers, duncans, torches, um, lobos. We've got uh, some elegants there. We've got um, some SBS, fungias. Looks like we've got turbinarias. Uh, we've got Cynarias, we've got uh, some Dallas frags there, we've got some Chalice frags. And over this side, we've got some large pieces here from uh, frog spawns. Looks like, oh, beautiful gold torch there. Um, this little guy here follows you all the way around the tank, making sure you don't uh, dare put your hands in the water. I'm sure he'd give you a little nip. Great assortment here of some, uh, uh, some Acroporas from both WA and Over East. A really nice little uh, Monty selection there. I think they're from Sustainable Reefs. I see bright gold Samacora there, um, some nice chalice pieces, some leathers, big lobos, really good assortment of corals. That space there was filled um, about an hour after filling this, uh, filming this video, but uh, you just have to take my word, there were some more cracking pieces in there. Now, if we come over to the uh, marine long narrow tanks, um, these are fairly unique to see in a fish store. They're quite a long tank, and it actually allows you to see the fish swimming backwards and forwards quite a lot rather than just being in a little sort of two by one uh, tank where they sort of circle around. This lets them really stretch their legs. Um, and you can see as we follow like this anthia along here, I, I really like it when you see things like the chromosaur all schooling together and swimming down there. It, uh, here you go, there's a little school of chromosaur all swimming together. It really makes you think that you need to buy more than uh, one or two that you're gonna do. You wanna sort of take the school. So um, I wonder whether that helps sales or not, I'm not sure. 
And then uh, hiding down here, we've got a little anemone tank. We've got a few carpets in here. One of these went home with my uh, good mate Cam, that red one. It's got the porcelain crab on it now. Uh, that's a really cool little nem, so I'm keen to see how that one grows out. And uh, we've got some nice little uh, bubble tips there next to it, um, and a few sand sifters in there. Pretty cool little tank. Now, we've got a little bit more of this store to go, although it is predominantly fresh water from here on out. But it's a really cool little uh, setup they got. I'll just show you the Zetlight UFO. Pretty nifty little light um, on that tank. I'm keen to see some more from Zetlight um, in the next well, the next few videos coming up. I'll just pop this filter off. Um, I'll just show you one more thing here. Another thing I've noticed a lot of WA stores doing. They have a lot of uh, TVs displaying things around tanks. Um, and it just keeps things real lively and keeps uh, showing you what is possible with tanks. So I really like uh, this. And I'm hoping more stores out east pick up this approach. Just one little, little thing here. You'll notice some in the lounge area, there's a little pile of uh, toys and books for kids. So if you are bringing your partner or kids in, if they're starting to get a bit bored while you're uh, looking at all the tank things, there's plenty of things to keep them busy. All right, in this area here, which is the last space I want to show you, is just this really neat little aquascaping room where you can um, size up uh, your footprint of your tank on the table in the middle, or if you need to wash your hands, you can. And uh, you can help yourself to the huge assortment here of... Um, uh, driftwoods, uh, little bonsai trees, backgrounds, rocks, um, vines, whatever you need to uh, build your scape. It's all available here and there's some scales so you know how much you're going to be uh, paying for all of this stuff. And I'll just turn around and you can see uh, on here you can uh, measure up the size of your tank so you've got this space here to work with so you know you're not trying to replicate a scape that's going to be way too big when you get it home. You can actually size up your tank and build the scape to suit really cool idea i love what they're doing i've seen a couple of aquascaping spaces done you see this chap here is working away at his scape really cool setup um that's about all i've got to say for aquarium gallery perth really nice store well worth a visit here's another tv showing some footage i hope you've enjoyed the tour this is where frags perth is setting up we've got a separate video for that in the meantime guys if you have any questions pop it in the section down below if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, uh, if you're enjoying these type of videos, make sure you subscribe. It goes a long way to helping me on YouTube, but it also means that you won't miss any future videos at all. So uh, if you can take the second to subscribe, I really appreciate it. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.